A march or mark was, in broad terms, a medieval European term for any kind of borderland, as opposed to a notional heartland. More specifically, a march was a border between realms, and or a neutral, buffer zone under joint control of two states, in which different laws might apply. In both of these senses, marches served a political purpose, such as providing warning of military incursions, or regulating cross-border trade, or both. Just as counties were traditionally ruled by counts, marches gave rise to titles such as Marquis masculine or Marchioness feminine in England, Marquis masculine or Marquise feminine in France and Scotland, Margrave Markgraf i.e. March Count masculine or Margravine Markgrafen i.e. March Countess feminine in Germany, and corresponding titles in other European states. Etymology The word march derives ultimately from a Proto Indo European root asterisk marig, meaning edge, boundary. The root asterisk marig produced Latin margo, margin, Old Irish mruig, borderland, and Persian and Armenian mars, borderland. The Proto-Germanic asterisk Marco gave rise to the Old English word Miark and Frankish Marka, as well as Old Norse Mork meaning borderland, forest, and derived form Merki, boundary, sign, denoting a borderland between two centers of power. It seems that in Old English, mark meant boundary or sign of a boundary, and the meaning only later evolved to encompass sign, in general, impression, and Trace. The Anglo-Saxon Kingdom of Mercia took its name from West Saxon Miark, marches, which in this instance referred explicitly to the territory's position on the Anglo-Saxon frontier with the Romano-British to the west. During the Frankish Carolingian dynasty, usage of the word spread throughout Europe. The name Denmark preserves the Old Norse cognates Merki, boundary, Mork, wood, forest, up to the present. Following the Anschluss, the Nazi German government revived the old name Ostmark for Austria. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Historical examples of marches and marks. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Frankish Empire and successor states. Marca Hispanica After some early setbacks, Charlemagne's son Louis ventured beyond the province of Septimania and took Barcelona from the Moorish Emir in 801. Thus he established a foothold in the borderland between the Franks and the Moors. The Carolingian Hispanic marches Marca Hispanica became a buffer zone ruled by the Count of Barcelona. It had its own outlying territories, each ruled by a lesser miles with armed retainers, who theoretically owed allegiance through the count to the emperor or, with less fealty, to his Carolingian and Ottonian successors. Such territory had a catla, Castellan, or lord of the castle, in an area largely defined by a day's ride, and the region became known, like Castile at a later date, as Catalonia. Counties in the Pyrenees that appeared in the 9th century as appanages of the Counts of Barcelona included Cerdanya, Girona and Urgil. In the early 9th century, Charlemagne issued his new kind of land grant the Aprecio, which redisposed land belonging to the imperial fisc in deserted areas, and included special rights and immunities that resulted in a range of independence of action. Historians interpret the apricio both as the basis of feudalism and in economic and military terms as a mechanism to entice settlers to a depopulated border region. Such self-sufficient landholders would aid the counts in providing armed men in defense of the Frankish frontier. Apricio grants the first ones were in Septimania emanated directly from the Carolingian king, and they reinforced central loyalties, to counterbalance the local power exercised by powerful marcher counts, but communications were arduous, and the power center was far away. Primitive feudal entities developed, self-sufficient and agrarian, each ruled by a small hereditary military elite. The sequence in Catalonia exhibits a pattern that emerges similarly in marches everywhere. 
The count is appointed by the king from 802, the appointment settles on the heirs of a strong count and the appointment becomes a formality, until the position is declared hereditary 897 and then the county declares itself independent by Burrell II in 985. At each stage the de facto situation precedes the de jure assertion, which merely regularizes an existing fact of life. This is feudalism in the larger landscape. Certain of the counts aspired to the characteristically Frankish Germanic title, Margrave of the Hispanic March, a Margrave, being a graf, Count of the March. The early history of Andorra provides a fairly typical career of another such buffer state, the only modern survivor in the Pyrenees of the Hispanic Marches. Topic: <laughs> Marches set up by Charlemagne. The Danish march, sometimes regarded as just a series of forts rather than a march between the Eider and Schlei rivers against the Danes, the Saxon or Nordalbingen march between the Eider and Elbe rivers in modern Holstein against the Obotrites. The Thuringian or Sorbian march on the Saal river against the Sorbs dwelling behind the Limes Sorabicus. The march of Lusatia, march of Meissen, march of Merseburg and march of Zeitz. The Franconian march in modern Upper Franconia against the Czechs. The Avar march between Enns River and Wienerwald, the later Marcha Orientalis, against the Avars. The Pannonian march east of Vienna, divided into upper and lower. The Carantanian march. Steiermark, Styria, the Margraviate border county of Styria was established under Charlemagne from a part of Carantania, Carinthia, erected as a border territory against the Avars and Slavs. The march of Friuli. The Marca Hispanica against the Muslims of Al-Andalus Spain. France The province of France called Marque Occitan, La Marcha, sometimes Marque Limousine, was originally a small border district between the Duchy of Aquitaine and the domains of the Frankish kings in central France, partly of Limousine and partly of Poitou. Its area was increased during the 13th century and remained the same until the French Revolution. Marque was bounded on the north by Berry, on the east by Bourbonus and Auvergne, on the south by Limousine itself and on the west by Poitou. It embraced the greater part of the modern département of Creuse, a considerable part of the northern Haute-Vienne, and a fragment of Indra, up to saint benoit du Sou. Its area was about 1,900 square miles 4, square kilometers. its capital was Chiru and later Gare, and among its other principal towns were Dorat, Belloc and Confolens. Marque first appeared as a separate fief about the middle of the 10th century when William III, Duke of Aquitaine, gave it to one of his vassals named Boso, who took the title of Count. In the 12th century it passed to the family of Lusignan, sometime also Counts of Angoulême Counts of Limousine, until the death of the childless Count Hugh in 1303, when it was seized by King Philip IV. In 1316 it was made an appanage for his youngest son the prince, afterwards King Charles IV and a few years later 1327, it passed into the hands of the family of Bourbon, the family of Armagnac held it from 1435 to 1477, when it reverted to the Bourbons, and in 1527 it was seized by King Francis I and became part of the domains of the French crown. It was divided into Haute Marque i.e. Upper Marque and Basse Marque i.e. Lower Marque, the estates of the former being in existence until the 17th century. From 1470 until the Revolution the province was under the jurisdiction of the Parlement of Paris, see County of Marque. Several communes of France are named similarly Marches, Drôme in the Drôme département La Marque in the Nieve département <laughs> Germany and Austria The Germanic tribes that Romans called Marcomanni, who battled the Romans in the 1st and 2nd centuries, were simply the men of the borderlands. Marches were territorial organizations created as borderlands in the Carolingian Empire and had a long career as purely conventional designations under the Holy Roman Empire. In modern German, Mark denotes a piece of land that historically was a borderland, as in the following names. Later medieval marches Nordmark, the Northern March, 
The Ottonian Empire's territorial organization on the conquered areas of the Wends. In 1134, in the wake of a German crusade against the Wends, the German magnate Albert the Bear was granted the Northern March by the Holy Roman Emperor Lothar II. The March of the Billungs on the Baltic coast, stretching approximately from Stettin Stetchin to Schleswig. Marca Gironis March of Gero, a precursor of the Saxon Eastern March, later divided into smaller marches the Northern March, which later was re-established as Margraviate of Brandenburg, the Lusatian March and the Mayan March in modern Free State of Saxony, the Zietz March, the Merseburg March, the Milsner March around Bautzen. March of Austria Marcia Orientalis, the Eastern March, or Bavarian Eastern March, German, Ostmark in modern Lower Austria. The Carantania March or March of Styria, Steiermark. The Draw March, Marburg and Pedo. The San March, Sealy. The Crane or March of Carniola, also Windic March and White Carniola, White March in modern Slovenia. Three marches were created in the Low Countries: Antwerp, Valenciennes, Enam. Topic: Other The Margraviate of Brandenburg, was further divided into regions also designated Mark. Altmark, Old March, the western region of the former Margraviate, between Hamburg and Magdeburg. Middlemark, Central March, the area surrounding Berlin. Today, this region makes up for the bulk of the German federal state of Brandenburg, and thus in modern usage is referred to as Mark Brandenburg. Newmark, New March. Since the 1250s was Brandenburg's eastern extremity between Pomerania and Greater Poland. Since 1945, the area is a part of Poland. Uckermark, the Brandenburg-Pomeranian borderland. The name is still in use for the region as well as for a Brandenburgian district. Mark, a medieval territory that is recalled in the Markischer Kreis district formed in 1975 of today's North Rhine-Westphalia. The northern portion north of the Lippe River is still called Hohe Mark. Higher Mark. The former Lower Mark between Ruhr and Lippe rivers is the present Ruhr area and is no longer called Mark. The title, in the form Count of the Mark, survived the territory as a subsidiary title of the Dukes of Saxe Coburg and Gotha. Ostmark, Eastern March, is a modern rendition of the term Marchia Orientalis used in Carolingian documents referring to the area of Lower Austria that was later a Markgraftum Margraviate or County of the Mark. Ostmark has been variously used to denote Austria, the Saxon Eastern March, or, as Ostmarkenverein, the territories Prussia gained in the partitions of Poland. <laughs> Habsburg Empire <laughs> Italy For the modern Italian region, see Marche, from the Carolingian period onwards the name Marca begins to appear in Italy, first the Marca Fermana for the mountainous part of Piscinum, the Marca Camerones for the district farther north, including a part of Umbria, and the Marca Anconitana for the former Pentapolis Ancona. In 1080, the Marca Anconitana was given in investiture to Robert Gascard by Pope Gregory VII, to whom the Countess Matilda ceded the marches of Camerino and Ferma. In 1105, the Emperor Henry IV invested Werner with the whole territory of the Three Marches, under the name of the March of Ancona. It was afterwards once more recovered by the Church and governed by Papal Legates as part of the Papal States. The Marche became part of the Kingdom of Italy in 1860. After Italian unification in the 1860s, Austria-Hungary still controlled territory Italian nationalists still claimed as part of Italy. One of these territories was Austrian littoral, which Italian nationalists began to call the Julian March because of its positioning and as an act of defiance against the hated Austro-Hungarian Empire. Marche were repeated on a miniature level, fringing many of the small territorial states of pre-Risorgimento Italy with a ring of smaller dependencies on their borders, which represent territorial Marche on a small scale. A map of the Duchy of Mantua in 1702 1984, Fig 26, reveals the independent, though socially and economically dependent arc of small territories from the Principality of Castiglione in the northwest across the south to the Duchy of Mirandola southeast of Mantua, the lords of Bozzolo, Sabionetta, Dosolo, Guastalla, the Count of Novellaire. Topic. 
Topic: <inaudible> Hungary. In medieval Hungary, the system of Gyepu and Gyepuelve, effective until the mid-13th century, can be considered as marches even though in its organization it shows major differences from Western European feudal marches. For one thing, the Gyepu was not controlled by a marquis. The Gyepu was a strip of land that was specially fortified or made impassable, while Gaipuelve was the mostly uninhabited or sparsely inhabited land beyond it. The Gaipuelve is much more comparable to modern buffer zones than traditional European marches. Portions of the Gyepu were usually guarded by tribes who had joined the Hungarian nation and were granted special rights for their services at the borders, such as the Sikes, Pechenegs, and Cumans. These ethnic groups merged into the Hungarian ethnicity and identity, taking up the Hungarian language at different times ranging from before the 10th century the Sikes to as late as the 17th century some Cumans. The Hungarian Gyepu originates from the Turkish Yapi meaning palisade. During the 17th and 18th centuries these borderlands were called Markland in the area of Transylvania that bordered with the Kingdom of Hungary and was controlled by a count or countess. Iberia In addition to the Carolingian Marca Hispanica, Iberia was home to several marches set up by the native states. The future kingdoms of Portugal and Castile were founded as marcher counties intended to protect the Kingdom of Asturias from the Cordoban Emirate to the south and east respectively. Likewise, Cordoba set up its own marches as a buffer to the Christian states to the north. The Upper March Al -tagr Al -ala, centered on Zaragoza, faced the eastern Marca Hispanica and the western Pyrenees, and included the distant or farthest march Al -tagr Al -aqsa. The Middle March Al -tagr Al -azat, centered on Toledo and later Medinicelli, faced the western Pyrenees and Asturias. The Lower March Al -tagr Al -adna, centered on Mérida and later Badajoz, facing western Asturias. These two would give rise to kingdoms, the taifas of Zaragoza, Toledo, and Badajoz. Scandinavia Denmark means, the March of the Danes. In Norse, Mark meant, borderlands, and forest. In present day Norwegian and Swedish, it has acquired the meaning, ground. While in Danish it has come to mean field or grassland. Markland was the Norse name of an area in North America discovered by Norwegian Vikings. The forests surrounding Norwegian cities are called Marka, the marches. For example, the forests surrounding Oslo are called Nordmarka, Ostmarka, and Vestmarka, i.e., the northern, eastern, and western marches. In Norway, note also the Norwegian county Finnmark. The borderlands or the forests of the Sami, known to the Norse as Finns. Hedmark, the borderlands of Heath. Telemark, the borderlands of the Ella tribe. In Finland, note. Normarku, Swedish Normark, a former municipality of Finland. Pamarku, Swedish Pamark, a municipality of Finland. Sormarku, Swedish Sodermark, is a village in Normarku, Finland. Marku, an island in the archipelago of Finland. Topic: <inaudible> British Isles. See Welsh marches and Scottish marches. The name of the Anglo-Saxon kingdom in the Midlands of England was Mercia. The name Mercia comes from the Old English for boundary folk. And the traditional interpretation was that the kingdom originated along the frontier between the Welsh and the Anglo Saxon invaders, although P. Hunter Blair has argued an alternative interpretation that they emerged along the frontier between the Saxon kingdom of Northumbria and the inhabitants of the River Trent Valley. Latinizing the Anglo Saxon term Miark, the border areas between England and Wales were collectively known as the Welsh Marches, Marchia Walia, while the native Welsh lands to the west were considered Wales proper. Pura Walia. The Norman lords in the Welsh marches were to become the new marcher lords. The title Earl of March is at least two distinct feudal titles, one in the Northern Marches, as an alternative title for the Earl of Dunbar c. 1290 in the Peerage of Scotland, and one, that was held by the family of Mortimer 1328 in the Peerage of England, in the West Welsh Marches. 
The Scottish Marches is a term for the border regions on both sides of the border between England and Scotland. From the Norman conquest of England until the reign of King James VI of Scotland, who also became King James I of England, border clashes were common and the monarchs of both countries relied on marcher lords to defend the frontier areas known as the marches. They were hand-picked for their suitability for the challenges the responsibilities presented. Patrick Dunbar, 8th Earl of Dunbar, a descendant of the Earls of Northumbria was recognised in the end of the 13th century to use the name March as his earldom in Scotland, otherwise known as Dunbar, Lothian, and Northumbrian border. Roger Mortimer, 1st Earl of March, Regent of England together with Isabella of France during the minority of her son, Edward III, was a usurper who had deposed, and allegedly arranged the murder of, King Edward II. He was created an earl in September 1328 at the height of his de facto rule. His wife was Joan de Geneville, second Baroness Geneville, whose mother, Jean of Lusignan was one of the heiresses of the French counts of La Marque and Angoulême. His family, Mortimer Lords of Wigmore, had been border lords and leaders of defenders of Welsh marches for centuries. He selected March as the name of his earldom for several reasons. Welsh marches referred to several counties, whereby the title signified superiority compared to usual single county based earldoms. Mercia was an ancient kingdom. His wife's ancestors had been Counts of La Marque and Angoulême in France. In Ireland, a hybrid system of marches existed which was condemned as barbaric at the time. The Irish marches constituted the territory between English and Irish-dominated lands, which appeared as soon as the English did and were called by King John to be fortified. By the 14th century, they had become defined as the land between the Pale and the rest of Ireland. Local Anglo-Irish and Gaelic chieftains who acted as powerful spokespeople were recognised by the Crown and given a degree of independence. Uniquely, the keepers of the marches were given the power to terminate indictments. In later years, wardens of the Irish marches took Irish tenants. Topic: Titles. Marquis, Marquise, and Margrave, Markgraf, all had their origins in feudal lords who held trusted positions in the borderlands. The English title was a foreign importation from France, tested out tentatively in 1385 by Richard II, but not naturalised until the mid-15th century, and now more often spelled Marquis. <laughs> <laughs> Related concepts <laughs> Abbasid Caliphate Topic. Armenia The specific subdivisions of Armenia are each called Mars, Mars Place, Marzer, Mar a loanword from Persian. Topic. The Balkans See Krina and Military Frontier Topic. Byzantine Empire Topic <inaudible> China In their initial development during the later Zhou dynasty the commanderies Jun functioned as marches ranking below the dukes and kings original fiefs and below the more secure and populous counties Xi'an as the commanderies formed the front lines between the major states, however, their military strength and strategic importance were typically much greater than the counties. Over time, however, the commanderies were eventually developed into regular provinces and then discontinued entirely during the Tang dynasty reforms. <laughs> Japan The European concept of marches applies just as well to the fief of Matsumai clan on the southern tip of Hokkaido which was at Japan's northern border with the Ainu people of Hokkaido, known as Ezo at the time. In 1590, this land was granted to the Kakazaki clan, who took the name Matsumai from then on. The lords of Matsumai, as they are sometimes called, were exempt from owing rice to the shogun in tribute, and from the Sankin Kotai system established by Tokugawa Ieyasu, under which most lords daimyos had to spend half the year at court in the capital of Edo. 
by guarding the border, rather than conquering or colonizing EZO, the Matsumai, in essence, made the majority of the island an Ainu reservation. This also meant that EZO, and the Kuril Islands beyond, were left essentially open to Russian colonization. However, the Russians never did colonize EZO, and the marches were officially eliminated during the Meiji Restoration in the late 19th century, when the Ainu came under Japanese control, and EZO was renamed Hokkaido, and annexed to Japan. Persia Sassanid Empire. Roman Empire <inaudible> Ukraine Ukraine, from the Moscow-centric Russian viewpoint, functioned as a «borderland» or «march» and gained its current name, which is derived from a Slavic term of the same meaning see above for similar in Slovenia, etc., ultimately from this function. This, though, was merely a continuation of a semi-formal arrangement with the Poles, before escalating feuds, political infighting in Poland, and religious differences mainly Eastern Orthodox versus Roman Catholic saw a loose coalition of Ukrainian lords and independent landowners collectively known as the Cossacks shift allegiance to the Russian Empire. The Cossacks became a significant part of Russian military history in their role as military border, buffer troops in the wild fields of Ukraine. As settlement advanced and the borders moved, the Tsars transferred or formed Cossack units to perform similar functions on other borderlands, marches further south and east in for example, the Kuban and in Siberia, forming for example, the Black Sea Cossack Host, the Kuban Cossack Host and the Amur Cossack Host. See also List of marches Buffer state No man's land Mars territorial entity American frontier equals equals notes <laughs>